Bay Systems, a prominent defense company in the United Kingdom, recently conducted a test involving a heavy quadcopter drone equipped with torpedo release capabilities. This milestone, which took place during a North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, event in Portugal on September 27, represents a significant step towards integrating unmanned systems into naval and anti-submarine warfare. In collaboration with Malloy Aeronautics, Bay Systems showcased the capabilities of their T-600 Heavy Lift Unmanned Air System UAS, successfully dropping an inert training version of the Stingray torpedo into a harbor. While this test focused on a basic weapons release, it holds substantial importance in expanding the logistical and combat functions of fleets incorporating unmanned systems. This demonstration was part of the robotic experimentation and prototyping with Maritime Uncrewed Systems REPMUS exercise. Over the past year, Britain has evaluated various tasks for this drone through a series of drills. Recently, the Royal Navy utilized a large UAV from W Autonomous Systems was to transport supplies from the coast to an aircraft carrier at sea. Additionally, Malloy's T-650 and TRV-150 drones have been seen carrying brimstone air-to-ground missiles and have been tested for tactical battlefield logistics roles in previous exercises. A video released by Bay Systems on September 27 depicted ground crew securing the Stingray beneath the T-600 and an operator using a remote console to fly the drone just above the port waters before releasing it. The torpedo was then retrieved in a successful release trial of the weapon. The drone's role in firing torpedoes closely mirrors that of naval utility and multi-role helicopters, which release torpedoes are anti-ship missiles guided by ship-based sonars, anti-submarine warfare helicopters, or the torpedoes and missiles own homing capabilities. This capability presents a groundbreaking advantage for light corvettes and frigates that have limited capacity for naval helicopters. It enables them to release torpedoes upon detecting enemy submarines, a task traditionally assigned to larger helicopters or fixed-wing aircraft. These ships can accommodate two to three of such drones, which not only release torpedoes but can also perform light logistics tasks within a fleet. While the drone lacks the capacity to track underwater targets, this isn't a significant drawback since naval utility helicopters also serve as weapons release platforms, receiving targeting data from other onboard systems. Moreover, the drone minimizes fatigue for human helicopter crews and can remain over the water for extended periods. It provides naval commanders with exceptional flexibility by handling routine tasks that would otherwise be assigned to larger manned platforms. Many militaries view alternative weapons deployment from non-traditional platforms as force multipliers, enhancing technical performance. Dave Quick, head of underwater weapons at Bay Systems, emphasized the focus on weapon effectiveness and deployment versatility in their development of Stingray Mod 2. The T-600, an electric-powered demonstrator aircraft, boasts vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, a 200 kg payload capacity, and a top speed of 140 km per hour. Its range spans up to 80 km, contingent on the payload. It features twin rotors, one above the other, on each of its four arms. This impressive demonstration was presented before 15 NATO partners, including Ireland and Sweden, in a controlled environment aimed at testing concepts, requirements, and emerging technologies related to maritime uncrewed systems. REPMUS serves as a testing ground for drone concepts developed by member states' defense companies, potentially integrating successful and credible technologies into the alliance's force structure. In closing, Bay Systems anticipates that the T-600 demonstrator will pave the way for the T-650, an all-electric heavy-lift UAS designed for rapid reconfiguration in military, commercial, and humanitarian contexts. The T-650 promises significant advancements in automated logistics, casualty evacuation, and anti-submarine warfare, while also reducing the environmental impact of armed forces operations. Please make sure to like and subscribe and share the video.